friends and lovers, welcome to the impressions for Dark Souls 2. Dark Souls 2? What the? F anyway, I'm doing Dark Souls 2 because why not? Why not? We can do anything. We can do anything in this show. And that's what's... A well, I say we can do anything. We can talk about video games. And that's about it. But we can talk about any video games we want. And today I want to talk about Dark Souls 2. Because I never reviewed it back in the day. In fact, uh, the first of the From Software games I ever actually reviewed was... Uh, um, Dark Souls... No, no, Bloodborne. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, it was Bloodborne. It wasn't until Bloodborne, despite me being such a big fan of... Uh, the series, ever since Demon Souls, you know, I never uh, tried the earlier stuff, but I started with Demon Souls and fell in love with that. That, I mean, mwah, I love Demon Souls so much, and I'm actually really hoping against hope one day to get a Demon Souls remastered. But I'll take Dark Souls remastered very happily, sort of. We'll see what it's like. I know that some people are unhappy with the fact that it just seems to be a straight remaster and there aren't a whole deal of changes. But I'm looking at playing that and doing like a Jimquisition on that to discuss what they have done and what they could have done and stuff like that. So that should be interesting and I'll obviously just do a regular Jim Impressions on Dark Souls Remastered when it's out. But that's, that's why I did this today because it's a good time to do it and I've been very into uh, Dark Souls Bloodborne lately. Uh, I say lately, I'm always into it, but lately, uh, I can just keep saying lately. Uh, lately, I've become a bit more obsessed. I go in and out of Souls obsessions, uh, where I just can't... I struggle to play anything else. In fact, I've got Dragon's Crown Pro. I bought that. I bought the in the metal box and everything. Uh, but I've barely touched it because I've been replaying Bloodborne. I started a new character, uh, decided to go skill Blood Tinge, and then realised that Blood Tinge isn't... I've got no use for it. I've got no cause to to use it. Uh, I should have went Arcane. They, they got all the fun stuff. But anyway, uh, we're, that's enough of that. Let's talk about Dark Souls 2 for a minute, shall we? Uh, as you can see, I'm playing a fairly boring build. Great Shield, uh, Hide Knight Sword. Uh, it's just the most effective for the way I like to play. I can't say I'm a big fan of the Hide Knight Sword's uh, moveset in terms of animation. But in terms of uh, damage output and swiftness of attack. Uh, it's, I, I personally didn't find anything better for my own style of play, which admittedly isn't the most exciting style of play. When it comes to Dark Souls, I'm very much a turtle. Uh, you know, keep up a great shield, uh, find a good one-handed weapon, and just, uh, just panic my way through the game with my shield up at all times. I know some people say that is sort of the blandest way to play, but I've always been a very defensive player. Uh, I like a strong defense, I'm very much one of those types, so uh, big old shield I'm perfectly happy with. Um, replaying Bloodborne though, going from this where I was, as I say, very turtleish, going to that was like a new lease of life because you've got to dodge in that, so I was, I was dodging a lot more than uh, I did when I was first playing it. Uh, in fact, I got through the game a lot quicker. Uh, I had a, a much easier time with it than the last time I played it, which is, I think, when Bloodborne first came out. But I'm sure many of you have worked out by now I could talk about Bloodborne all day. Let's go back to Dark Souls 2. I swear this isn't like a bit where I'm just going to keep talking about Bloodborne and then uh, not talk about Dark Souls 2. Let's talk about Dark Souls 2. So, Dark Souls 2, bit of a controversial entry in the series. Uh, it's the difficult second album as far as the uh, Souls series go. It's uh, ELO 2. Um, is that just what they called their second album? I can't remember what uh, the Electric Light Orchestra called their second album, but it was something boring, and it was a difficult second album, because uh, the first album went very well. They worked with Roy Wood, who went on to do Wizard, who uh, did that, I wish it could be Christmas every day. He went on to do that, but he used to work with Jeff Lynne on ELO, because they were both in the move. Uh, I swear this isn't a bit. Let's let's abandon the Electric Light Orchestra. Anyway, Dark Souls 2. I'm playing Scholar of the First Sin, obviously, and I'm in I enjoyed it a lot, but I reached a point where I was like, I'm happy with, with what I've played, and I'm good putting this away now. Compare that to the other Souls games where I'm playing through New Game Plus multiple times, scouring every little nook and cranny I can to find all the secrets, to complete the NPC side quests. You know, I hate to leave a stone unturned in Bloodborne or Dark Souls, but I got to the end game areas in Dark Souls 2 and was just like, I've had enough. It is a very fine game. It has a lot of qualities that make all of the Souls games fantastic to play, but 
it does feel like they drank their own Kool-Aid a little bit with the whole prepare to die thing that Namco Bandai was harping on about because they seem a bit desperate to make this game as difficult, to like live up to the hype. And that manifests in some rather bullshitty ways. In previous games, fighting multiple enemies was tense. As the game wears on in Dark Souls 2, it just becomes a fucking pain in the ass. Taking on multiple enemies in this game is just not fun. And it's not helped by the amount of enemies that can track you one to one with their very high poise and an aggro range that is just ridiculous in some cases. And I dare say every Souls game has an area where some would point at it and say, you know what? that's just not fun but Dark Souls 2 just it simply has a higher ratio of the areas that I'd point at and say this is this is just annoying rather than rather than challenging difficult encouraging because I've often said I've made the argument that the Souls games are just as encouraging as discouraging it's a game about picking yourself up and dusting yourself off but Dark Souls 2 at times just feels a bit mean just a bit like an asshole. Oh my god, I talked all the way over the rotten fight. Normally, I like to commentate over the footage as I talk. Um, I mean, that's what commentating is, but that, that was a useless sentence, what I said. It doesn't matter. I watch what I played, and then I talk about it so I can give you a little one-to-one -one with what's going on. And I was going to apologise for just how safe I was playing it in the rotten fight, because that's, that's how I do. Uh, sometimes Dark Souls for me is uh, looking at the top left corner of your screen simulator, because I, I fret about the health bar way too much. But anyway, here's some jolly cooperation for you. Um, oh, my wrestling match I did Saturday night. Uh, I managed, I had to come up with a quick promo. I wasn't expecting to do a promo that night, but I, uh, I, I had to do one. So I went out there and I just filled it with Dark Souls memes and a, a Xenoblade quote, because why not? Uh, I had to dress down a team for losing. So I gave them the weak, weak and pathetic line from uh, Xenoblade. And, because I was in a tag match, I said I was going to do some jolly cooperation and become grossly incandescent, which works for Stardust as a gimmick. But anyway, back to Dark Souls, back to Dark Souls 2, which has become a bit of a catchphrase here. Uh, let's talk about boss. First of all, let me just say, because again, I, I failed to point it out earlier because I was too busy banging on about the game. Uh, to talk about the game, uh, but for those of you who watched the beginning of the video and were worried I wouldn't have found the Jester suit, as you could have seen, I think we, yeah, we put that footage in before this. Uh, I, I ended up not looking at the screen, I was too busy just talking about uh, the intricacies of, of what I think about Dark Souls, but uh, like I say, I could talk about Soul stuff all day long. If you ever, like, see me out at somewhere, if you go to one of the wrestling shows and see me after, if you go to one of the rare convention appearances I do. Um, if you want to just talk to me all day long, the best shot you have is talk about Dark Souls 2. and uh, Not Dark Souls 2, just Dark Souls in general. If you talk about Dark Souls 2 specifically, I will talk to you all day about how much I hate this fucking area, the Shrine of Bloody Amana, the Shrine of Bloody Assholes. Uh, this, is, I mean, I talk about aggro range. Jesus effing Christ, these fucking women, I think they are. Women with antlers on their heads. They got some blokes with antlers on their heads. They're not so bad because they don't fire fucking missiles at you all day long and there aren't loads of them everywhere firing missiles at you all day long. Although, again, like uh, many of the enemies, they're not fun to fight if they uh, come at you in more than one uh, uh, number, I guess. I hate starting a sentence. Can you believe I just do promos off the top of my head and when I sit here just talking about video games, I just say the stupidest shit. Uh, but anyway... Back to Dark Souls 2. Uh, let's talk about the bosses, because I did uh, I did want to talk about what I feel like. Uh, what I... <laughs> That's really where I'm at today, apparently. Just uh, devolving into... <laughs> Sorry, it is early in the morning as I record this, and that's my excuse. But let's talk about bosses. Let us talk about bosses. Now, I fought the Rotten earlier in the video, and that is just a wonderful design. Uh, boss design in Dark Souls, that's something I, again, I could, I could talk all day just about that sector. Good bosses, of course, very important to the Souls games. And I've got to echo a lot of the common criticisms people have said about Dark Souls 2 in the fact that a lot of the bosses are just blokes in armour. Uh, blokes in armour, sometimes uh, women in armour, uh, sometimes uh, more than one at the same time. There are so many ganky bosses in this one. It's Gank Souls 2. Uh, a lot of them bringing up flunkies and minions or, or they come in numbers. To quote Skate Man, intense rescue. <laughs> but when Dark Souls 2 is on, 
in terms of bosses, it's fucking on. When it's off, it's off. But when it's on, it's really on. Unlike a lot of the other Dark Souls games, which are pretty consistent, I feel, in their bosses, they're a son that are shit. But for the most part, I think they're pretty consistently great and memorable. Here, I can't even remember half the bosses. I started Scholar of the First Sin when it first came out and picked it back up recently and couldn't remember what I'd done. Although part of that is this game's somewhat dodgy map design, which I'm not entirely fond of. And I realise I've just done nothing but complain for most of this, so let's actually talk about the positives. It is still a Souls game, which means it is still very good. And as I say, when the game is firing on all cylinders, it is easily as good as any of the others. It's just it has a lot more flaws than the others do, in my humble opinion. However, there are these moments that are just fantastic. The, the big story twist with uh, uh, the, one of the main goals of the game is, is really well put together. Drang Lake as a location has a, a great history to it. The lore is richly detailed, the characters are great fun to interact with, and ultimately, while I was going through a really shitty patch recently, Dark Souls 2 kept me occupied all day long so it must be doing something right you know I put it away after a time because I really just did get sick of its shit but up until that point hundreds of hours loads of hours we were talking about on the Jimquisition on Monday we talked about game length and value and if you do value just pure game length over anything else I mean, a Souls game's gonna sort you out, innit? So that's Dark Souls 2, anyway. I do think it is the weakest one in the series, and that is just me. I understand that Dark Souls 2 has its own unique uh, brand of fans, and that's cool. I'm glad that they like it a lot more. Uh, I did not hate this at all. Uh, I really did enjoy it, but that is because it is a Souls game, and I am uh, I'm pre-configured to like them anyway. And Drang Lake is just a really cool name. I think that's one of the coolest location names they've come up with. It just, it sounds so gothy, medieval-y. Drang Lake. It's good stuff. The Dark Souls 2, I like it. Not quite as much as I like the Electric Light Orchestra, though.